We are at petrol station number six, I believe. I don't know, we've, we've stopped at quite a few. I don't know how many. <laughs> stopped over um, at a restaurant for lunch and we all ordered Kotu. And we're actually gonna go and help him make the Kotu. So, get to learn a little bit. All right, I'm getting to the top of the tower. This is absolutely insane up here. Last step, I made it to the top. Day five of the Tuk Tuk tournament where we are driving a little Tuk Tuk around Sri Lanka for two weeks. The whole goal of the Tuk Tuk tournament is to earn as many gems as possible based on location based challenges and non location based quests. <laughs> <laughs> we are all refreshed and ready to go. We just had our mid party where we threw a huge rager and then had the day off yesterday with no competing. So all the teams are up and ready and we're ready to go. And it's actually really fun now too as well because all the teams are gonna kind of be traveling together, at least the ones who aren't really trying to uh -huh. win. <laughs> yep. So it should be a really good time. We have officially hit our first long queue at a gas station. If you're not aware, Sri Lanka recently went through a fuel crisis where um, they pretty much had no fuel on the island and really, it was a really bad situation. That was a few months ago now and things have really started to turn around, but there are still a few cases where you're either not able to get gas, the gas stations are out of gas, or, oof, <laughs> or, uh, the queues can be a little bit long, so we're just going to move on to the next gas station because typically it gets a little bit better. We haven't made it to our gas station yet, but one of our challenges is to take a picture with a smiling police officer, so that is what we are going to do. Oh. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> They're always so nice. How are we feeling today? Feeling like uh, ready to have a good day. Heading to the mountains, right? Nice. Uh, How's the queues for the gas? Queues are not too bad uh, when you pick the line on this side, but the pick line you picked, <laughs> you know, we're going to end up waiting for you for like 15 yeah, minutes. I That's okay. <laughs> So we are having our first issue getting patrol and usually, you, so locals here need a QR code and they have a certain amount of liters they can buy per week and for tourists, tourism is essential so we can get as many liters as we want per week and we also can get like a gas card to buy but a lot of gas stations don't accept this gas card yet. So the Tuk Tuk Rental people, they printed off this um, essential tourism sheet for us that explains it in Tamil and Sinhalese for the locals, but they're not accepting that here either. So we're calling one of the Tuk Tuk Rental people so we can try to get some gas. Cause we're out. <laughs> Our fuel situation in Candy keeps on failing. We got our one liter at a gas station and every other gas station we pull into, um, they're either out of petrol or there's a long queue and they won't accept our QR code. So hopefully when we move out of Candy, we'll be able to get some petrol. But otherwise we at least have a reserve tank. Corey just shut my tuk tuk off because I'm burning gas. Saving gas, saving gas. But yeah, hopefully we'll get some petrol. Last option, we can just siphon some gas from other teams. So. True. Team sabotage, sounds good to me. All right, we're getting gems right now at this pub restaurant, and then we're gonna move on to a university, and I think we're gonna go and try to join a session. Thank you, boy. Just let me feel you close. What are we doing? Right now, our challenge is to get some soy ice cream. So, looks like they're open, people are eating ice cream right now. It's only like nine in the morning, so good breakfast. So we got our ice cream and we just got vanilla. It's so good though. It's really different. It's almost like a little icier than normal ice cream. And we're also talking about that we don't think it's like really milk based, maybe like soy milk based instead. It's super good. 
good though. Maybe like slightly saltier than normal ice cream. Super good. <laughs> So we stopped to let Steve fly the drone and I couldn't like we we're just sitting talking and couldn't find Kyle anywhere. This is this is where I find him. Have fun. I had to go play some basketball. Basketball is not big in Sri Lanka, so when you see it, you gotta do it. Just for two. Um, gas queue and it's crazy we have not seen this issue the entire time we've been here so uh, two over two weeks now we've been in Sri Lanka and we have not seen it this bad we think it might be because we're in Kandy which is a larger city uh, we've mainly stuck to smaller cities so I think that's maybe something that plays into it um, but this is us kind of really seeing the issue that is arising here which um, is unfortunate but it's the reality of it as well We made it to this university and it is unfortunately closed today for holiday. So so I think we're just gonna try to take some selfies with some students and then we'll be out of here. We really wanted to sit in on the lesson, but it can't happen today. All right, we are in and out of there. You cannot take any video, so we're collecting our gems. That was 11 gems. Hopefully we get them. I mean, you gotta compromise sometimes. University's closed for exam day today, so. Yeah, but. It's still fun to be back in college. <laughs> Moving on. Since the university is closed, um, there's a bunch of people down here playing a bunch of different field games, and so we kind of came down here to see what we can play. There's this game that is a lot like baseball, and then they're also playing cricket over there, so Steve is gonna try to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back in the tube. Okay. Not sure where we're headed. All right. We are at petrol station number six, I believe. I don't know, we've, we've stopped at quite a few. I don't know how many. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some petrol. Let's Show. Try. Yep, so we are finding out that the petrol issue that they have been having is real. It's getting a lot better, I'm, I think, but it's still real here. I guess a little background on the petrol too is one of the Tuk Tuk rental guys explained it as when, so people were like freaking out about gas running out so they all went and hoarded gas and they ended up running out of gas. It's basically like in the US during COVID when we yeah. ran out of toilet paper. Yep, so that's what happened here and now the real issue is there's no tourist dollars coming in. So the real solution here is to have all of you guys come to Sri Lanka and support tourism. All right, we are showing the gas station people our um, tourism slip, and it's written in their language. Not sure if they're gonna go for it. This is yours, I think right? Going for it. Oh, this one, yeah. I think we're getting petrol. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Come on, you have a, I have a, that was my QR code, but you need my passport as well. What's your passport? Do you need a passport for this? Yeah, yeah I'll yeah, take yes. one copy of this and I'll return that to you. Okay. I got my... Alright, finally got some petrol. They filled us all the way up. I had to take my passport, but it's okay. He's gonna give it back, obviously. <laughs> Flag malfunction.
to this temple at the top of this mountain. <laughs> We've stalled multiple times going up because it's so steep. We had to get out and push and then run up the rest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The monkeys are rampant here. They stole cookies out of my hand. They got in two two times tuk tuk already. Dude, they're bad. So the monkeys are literally going through our tuk tuks like crazy. So Steve and Misha are gonna stay back and we're gonna go up and then we're gonna come back and keep the monkeys out of all of our stuff. Um, so we're just gonna try to run up really quick and come back down. This is Ambulawawa Temple, and it's a really tall temple that you can climb to the top of. Um, I think it's super high up. Mom, stop watching now, because I know you're gonna be terrified. Um, it was built in the 13th century AD, though, so it's one of the things that you have to do while you're here. We're not even close to the top, but we're literally in the clouds. Like, this is insane. I don't like this. This year is all about doing things that are out of our comfort zone and that scare us. I'm coming through, man. Oh. Oh. And that's something that we're doing today. My legs are shaking. <sighs> I had to stop. I can't. I'm really, I'm not a big fan of heights and this alone is good enough for me right now. We sent Kyle to the top, so we'll see what he does. All right, Maddie turned around. I can literally only fit up these stairs sideways and people keep on coming down and passing. This is a crazy tower. Legs get a little shaky up here. Hello? Crazy view though. Getting to the top of the tower. This is absolutely insane up here. Here, I'll show you the steps. Last step. I made it to the top. You don't even need a drone up here. All right, I'm getting I'm getting farther closer to the bottom. If you're afraid of heights, this is not for you. Because this is crazy. The railing is really only up to my butt. So when people are passing by and I'm leaning on the railing, you gotta hold on. Heading down now though. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Corey, come here. <laughs> Big motherfucker was showed his teeth at me. I had my stick. He went behind me, went to Steve's, took, took, took a whole entire bin of candy. Watch out, that's on my side. Hey, 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 hey. The monkeys are so bad here. Steve and Misha just watched our tuk-tuk and now we're watching all the tuk-tuks for them. And yeah, like Corey just said, they took Steve and Misha's a whole bin of candy from their tuk-tuk and they just show their fangs at you and come at you. They're not that nice. So, it's kind of scary fending off the monkeys. We have left the temple area and we are making our way back down the mountain. That was a crazy experience. We saw a bunch of other teams kind of pulling up as we were leaving. Uh, but we are heading to Ramboda now where there are three possibilities for some location-based gems. Um, 
I think we're for sure going to do two out of the three and then we're gonna head to Norelia. It's raining pretty hard so we stopped over um, at a restaurant for lunch and we all ordered kotu and we're actually gonna go and help him make the kotu so get to learn a little bit. It's already smelling good. He's got the vegetables on. We're gonna go and start cooking. The roti and the chicken. That's how it's done. I love Kotu. It's my favorite dish. Can I do a good job making it? He's made with love. Kyle. And, he, and, and Steve. Kyle and Wolf. Whoa! <laughs> we finished with lunch. It was seriously so cheap. I'm pretty sure our Kotu came out to be like 375 tur or Turkish lira. 375 Sri Lankan rupee each, which is like a little over a dollar. It's absolutely insane. But we are now on our way to Ramboda, where we were on our way before, but we're for sure on our way now. It's starting to rain a little bit again, and so we will see you guys when we get there. We have made it to Ramboda, and we are at the falls right now, which is one of our gems. Kyle's right here flying the drone. Um, this drive seriously has been so stunning. There's probably been 10 different waterfalls that we've seen just in the mountains. It's so beautiful. These challenges are all kind of quick. It does start to get dark in about an hour, so we're really trying to make it to Norelia before, I mean, like, maybe just as it's getting dark. Um, but yeah, the falls are beautiful, and we'll show you the beach now. it to Nuara Elia and it's freezing. It's like 55 degrees and we just came from like 80 something degrees so we're in shorts and t-shirt but it's been raining all day but we're finally in our hotel so so we're excited but we're gonna go get some dinner and then go to bed so we're gonna see you guys tomorrow for day seven of the 2-2 tournament.